Yes, that's Jubilee in here, and in unfamiliar territories, we start this video mid-game. It is a live com. Uh, basically, I've just I just finished recording the video, and then I accidentally closed QuickTime before the fan had fully exported. So we've lost all that footage, that 10-minute clip or so. So I was like, okay, let's um, let's just jump back into it straight away. Um, and you at the moment, as as well, let's start this video as if I haven't even recorded anything yet because. It's not like you know what was said or was done. It's all gone lost into oblivion because I closed it before it finished exporting. I thought it had already finished, but it hadn't. And then I realized the um, export window was down at the bottom. And I was like, oh, damn it. Why have I done that? That's annoying. Time to get recording again. And I'm in a bit of a rush because once I finish this, I'm off out to watch the, the NBA Finals Game 3. Dub Nation versus the Cavs, obviously. Dubs. It's currently 2-0 up and absolutely unbeaten so far in the full finals. They're surely on a run. And surely this year is their year to avenge the defeat. Now they've got Durant. They're seeming unstoppable, that dream team. But let me know your thoughts below. Who do you think is going to happen? And this game you find us playing very, really, really well. Anyway, yeah, there's not really any real agenda in today's video. I thought I'd just record some um, versus attack mode footage. With some of the players we picked up recently, playing them with Robin, Ronaldo, Marcelo, Casemiro, all those good stuff, and um, just show you how we've been playing with gameplay because we've had a few days of non gameplay videos, and I like to keep gameplay packs, predictions, whatever going on quite consistent on this channel without favouring one more than the other. Um, of course, we have predictions, impact predictions, all that's gone because. Impacts have stopped while all the main European leagues have stopped. So, um, yeah, we haven't got them coming on a Friday and Monday anymore. So we've got now more videos through there. Not that that makes any difference because what is it today? Wednesday? Team of the Week stopped as well. Although it will be back in two weeks under a new form of Community Team of the Week. I saw some people quite confused over Community Team of the Week. And what it actually meant and how it works. And um, obviously... A lot of people thinking, wait, so the team of the week is just going to be, obviously the way it works now, in, to cut a long story short, to summarise it, we'll go into it more later, to summarise it, the team of the week now, it works the same way, there'll be a master team of the week each week, master item make 95 rated, then there'll be a 99 player of the month at the end we collect from completing the plans during the week, exactly the same way it is now, the only difference this time is that the players in team of the week won't be selected based on their in real life performances. So say like Obama Young scores a hat trick, he gets a team of the week card um, for Dortmund. Now the way it works is that the team of the week will be based on whoever is number one ranked in a, in versus attack mode. So it gets the community involved and it's the community team of the week. So at the moment we've got Surly at the top with Mubi Cat behind him. Um, and essentially how it works, say it was this week, like Sir, uh, Sir Lee was at the top. So the team of the week will be based off his team. Now, it's still going to be the same format, I believe. It should most likely be five gold, five elite, then the master. And it will be based off, so we don't know if it will be literally like 11 plays from his team. Or they'll pick a couple of them, give them inform cards, and then the rest will just be what fillers that EA decide to give to. We'll have to see with that. But yeah, I don't. It, it, in its boilest, simplest form, it's still the same team of the week we know. It's just the way the cards are selected for team of the week are based on in game performance from a user rather than real life performance. So that's the only real difference, really, to think about it from a how it will affect the majority of us. Now, if you are one of those near the top at the rankings, there's an added incentive for you if you feel you can go for that number one slot. Because if you do finish ranked one in the week, the cards will be based off your team. And the card on the back of the cards will have your rating, have your name, your rank and all of that stuff like related to you. So you'll be immortalised in the game with cards created because of you. So if you can reach it, it'll be pretty cool to think. Flip a card over. And on the back of that card is your name. And you'll be thinking, yep, that's there because of me. And that's pretty cool. Now, obviously, most of the time, this is going to be a lot of based off um, how, who's going to get to number one. It's going to be people who have a lot of time to play. 
and people who have an, a very good team however you can only be based on your team once so for example now sir lee gets it sir lee would be based on it next week is sir lee's number one it would move down to number two and so on so the team can only be based on you once which isn't too bad really because at least then like we say it does mean that it keeps it moving down uh, we don't know how long this will go on for probably until the main league resume so we should get a couple of a month or two or three of it like this way because what is it june now leagues back do they start august or so? they start in august so actually it's only be one or two months really but heck i think it'd be nice it's starting fridays rather than wednesdays and um it should be fun and if you do as well as the cards being based on you getting number one the rank whoever gets selected that week will also be given the master player as a as a freebie so the 95 rated master card they will be given which is a nice little also incentive on top of it however most likely the people getting their a 95 rated card probably is without boost probably isn't going to help your team but it's that 99 player of the month or a community player of the month in this case that people will be working for towards similar to how it is for most at the moment with team of the week literally people were overthinking this community team of the week a lot it's in its simplest form it's just still the team that we know it's just the players will be selected differently and if it's based on your team you get some freebies and you get immortalized in the game and recognized so incentives all around and it should in theory mean that the better cards in the game become better because we'll um, essentially the cards we have now what we're using we're going to be getting higher rated versions of them if they get the 99 player of the month slot that is which is most likely what will happen so yeah i'm looking forward to it it starts in two weeks time so we've still got two weeks without it uh, but it should be good fun yeah this room i'm staying in is very very noisy i don't know how much you can hear and we are absolutely getting destroyed in this this versus attack mode i've only just looked at the score in the game i don't even think i've really been paying attention to it but i feel like we haven't even had that many chance i'm sure we haven't unless i've really flundered all these chances without even realizing i swear we've had hardly anything can this guy just keeps scoring and scoring and scoring and scoring i think what was he 107 rated so yeah he probably will be having more greater chances than what he definitely will be because he's higher rated but i don't get how we're getting abs this is this is this is rape yep this is rape let's um at least try and make it four nope and uh, now right this is the, we're not even gonna do anything here because it's gonna take a few seconds okay we're gonna score from the corner but it's too late he scored a ninth and he's probably gonna score a tenth now but while the game sinks back up we've been absolutely destroyed there fair play to him fair play indeed like you deserve that win you've you you've done what you needed to do Six hundred sixteen thousand. he's on a lot more fans than me so we should only lose 6,500. Yes, we should. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to call it there. I've been Santa Monica say it was a great, it was a lot of fun. We um, went through all there and back now off to watch the, um, the basketball. So I'll see you tomorrow with another upload when we move over to the new hotel. This was, I'm leaving the Airbnb tomorrow morning and then moving over to the hotel where the rest of the guys will be joining us because um, they're all flying over tomorrow so i'm looking forward to seeing everybody else it's been a nice few extra days out here on my own to explore and do what i want because from friday to monday it's pretty much non-stop ea things whereas these days have been nice to myself so do leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new here come follow me on twitter at jubilee hd and i'll see you all later peace